Right, another product that needs uh, no introduction, I'm sure quite a lot of you have used this before, it's uh, Secret. Um, very good uh, product for uh, pretty much any fishing really. If you look uh, at the consistency, I've been mixing this up about an hour ago, it's quite fine. It's not very really many uh, particles in it to be honest. Uh, the only, uh, the other good thing about it is it's really sticky. Uh, as I've said in many videos before, uh, if you want to add some binding agents or power, uh, binding power, just mix some st uh, secret in with it, and it makes it a lot stickier and a lot heavier too. I mean, I've just given that two squeezes there, and it's pretty much solid. I'll just put this in the water, see what it does. It's a very old product, I don't, I don't even know how long it's been out on the market for, but it's uh, quite a few years. Uh, I've, I think I've been using it since the 90s. I know I've used to use it on canals, rivers, lakes. I've used it on some commercial since I moved over here. Uh, just Like I said, it's uh, pretty much one of my go-to all-round ground baits for pretty much all kinds of fishing. Especially if you're fishing on rivers and if you're fishing feeder or whatever and you need to add some, like I said, a binding part, uh, agent. You can't go wrong with secret. We'll be just fish, trying to fish like a low feed content but sticky mix. And obviously secret's the one to go to. I mean the, the other um, heavy mixes we've got are all slightly coarser. They've got bigger particles in it. Whereas secret's still quite fine. You can even use this with uh, say something like Super Cup or Super Match, Beat, Super Roach. The list pretty much endless really. You can pretty much do anything with it. So what I used to use back when I used to fish deep uh, deep lakes in Germany is mix uh, Secret with uh, Beat. Add some uh, Brazim to it. And bag up on skimmers and curb. Bream all day. Can't fault it. I've even used the same mix on deep canals in Germany. It's a slightly active particle. I'm steaming up a bit so I can get rid of that quick. There are some small particles coming off it. But I think that's one of the other the attractive things about this mix is that there are some particles that will draw fish down. Whereas once it's the other particles are on the bottom, they, they stay there, they don't really move. So I wouldn't hesitate to use this ground bait pretty much anywhere really, like even in the winter canals, winter river fishing, or even like I said on commercials, why not? Want a low feed dark mix? Say no more, you can do anything with it, you can mix it really heavy, you can mix it slightly drier, or just squeeze it softer. You can pretty much do anything with it. You can even slop it up if you want. Brilliant mix. See, a lot of people don't really use these mixes over here in the UK anymore anyway, apart from all your, your natural water, water fishermen. It all seems to have been like taken over by fish meal mixes, but I do like to use cereal based mixes whenever I can. Depending on what I'm going for, really. Obviously, if I'm going for carp, then obviously fish meal mix is basically one of the things to use. I do like to vary it sometimes if I'm fishing like for like an all-round kind of uh, match. When I'm fishing for roach, bream, and carp, then I wouldn't hesitate to use or sort of bulk out the, the ground bait with a cereal-based mix, which I've done quite a few times. Just gives it a bit of a broader scope really, obviously if you're just fishing fish meal all the time most of the small fish won't touch it but if you need smaller fish like roach and stuff to, uh, to help build your backup weight then you can't go wrong. Let's give that a quick prod. It's still quite solid, it's only not even gone in one millimetre. There's a bit of a cloud coming off it, can you imagine a fish pecking at that. That's still solid. 
I reckon that ball could stay there for at least half an hour, three, uh, three quarters of an hour. It'll just slowly break up. Interesting to see that because obviously other mixes that I've tested they do start to get a bit softer after a couple of minutes. That one is still solid. Whereas obviously the outer shell is still kind of slowly breaking down. The, the inner core of it is still one solid lump. If you've got any other uh, products you want me to test, just drop a comment below and I'll get it done. Cheers.